Hello everyone. Today we are going to introduce you uh, with the new uh, autofiltration system uh, to run large volume of sample, large volume mean, actually about 20 liter of sample to detect the pathogen from the environmental samples. And these environmental samples is from different sources you can detect different type of pathogen with the large volume from a drain sample, canal sample, and also from septic uh, effluent or septic uh, superlative, you can collect uh, some large volume sample and you will even uh, you will filter through uh, this filtration system which is called alpha filtration and then we can concentrate this uh, large volume sample in about half uh, 500 uh, milliliter sample and then you can test highest concentration of sample highest concentration of pathogen from there so now uh, I'm going to introduce you what need, what type of uh, uh, instrument you need for this uh, large volume auto filtration. So we need a uh, auto filtration machine, uh, which is uh, uh, commercially available and it's a master fix. Then we need different diameters of tubings. Uh, different diameters of tubings uh, means 30, uh, 36, 24 and 17 diameter uh, in different size of uh, tubings, plastic tubings to make this cycle of uh, alter filtration. You need uh, this collection bottle so that you can collect large volume sample. This is a 20 liter collection uh, bottle. Uh, you need uh, this alter filter and this is come actually within the uh, foil and this inside, it looks like this. And the important thing is, uh, uh, is you need uh, like predictable power source. So you need to convert your electricity to 110 or 100 because these are the filtration cannot go into 20 uh, VA because it, the fuse here is really burn if you, if you use the highest voltage of uh, electricity. So this is very important for like particularly low and middle income country. So where the electric voltage is not stable, so you need to voltage stabilizer converter, and also you need to do a lots of backup for this so that you can have a sufficient uh, uh, fuse uh, when you actually the fuse is actually get caught, uh, cut off, and also you need lots of things to do. So uh, you also need a collection bottle where the concentrate after filtration is actually uh, concentrate so much within the bottle. So these are the equipments we need for our filtration. So Boshi will introduce you how to actually do this cycle and how to filter the alter filtration. Now our artificial system is ready to artificial 20 liter of raw sample to fill 400 ml of concentrated sample using this artificial system. We are going to artificial our raw sample in three main steps. First of all, priming the artificial and concentrating the raw sample. Then run artificial with dilution solution, and finally back flush. First of all, priming of artificial and concentrate the raw sample. Before starting the priming of alter filter, we have to set this three way valve this way. So let's start the priming of alter filter by switching on the pump. So it found that our alpha filter is working well or the alpha filter system is running correctly. So now we can move this intake tube directly to the sample bottle. In next one hour we are going to do two things continuously. First of all, we have to change the three way valve like this to collect water from this raw sample bottle to this collection bottle. Second, 
when the water level in the collection will process the half line, change the three-way bulb like this, and recirculate the water of the collection bottle through these tubings. And recirculating will help the system to drain out the filtered pure water through these tubings, and thus the recirculation will concentrate the sample in this collection bottle. After several recirculation steps, we have to collect the retentate water and measure the volume in this measuring cylinder. In elution step, we have to run elution solution through this other filtration system to elute out the retained pathogen from the other filter. Now we will directly run these elution solutions through this intake tube. So now we are running emission solution through this under filtration system to elute out the retained pathogen inside the under filter. We have to set the three way bulb like this and switch on the pump. We have to complete the eluting of pathogen in two steps. First, we have to collect half of the emission solutions and wait five minutes. Then, after five minutes, we have to collect the remaining emission solution. After taking the emission solution inside the collection bottle, we have to recirculate the emission solution to concentrate. For this, we have to change the three way valve like this. So it's on the pump. And let the system to concentrate the emission solution. Before removing the outer filter from the stand, we have to use this pins clamp to close the opening of the outer filter. Before removing the outer filter from the stand, we have to make sure that the piece clamp is tight enough so that the water from the outer filter can pass through this tube or this tube. Now we have to remove the caps of the outer filter and remove the water inside the And we are removing this water because before back flushing, we have to make sure the fibers of the outer filter is dry enough to soak the back flush solution. Before starting back flushing, we have to remove the three way valve from these tubings and from the collection tube. This is the backwash solution. We have to take a backwash solution directly from this tube. So for back flushing step, we have to use another new 36 size tube. Now we are going to update the 
backwash solution to this system. For collecting backwash solution, we have to change the 36 size tubings to the upper end of the arc. For that flushing, we have to open the lower tube of the alga filtration only. We have to keep closed this tube. Now we will run the alga filtration pump in a slow speed. So through backwash, the water from the alga filter is squeezed out.